So the scene for the 47th edition of the Amsterdam Marathon here in the Olympic Stadium. All the runners getting ready for the start in rather damp conditions, but the rain had stopped at the time when the start gun went at nine o'clock. There's the leading Dutch athlete, and Lauten aiming for the Olympic qualifying standard, 226.50 for the women for the Olympics next year. Another top class field assembled in both men's and women's races. The women's uh, elite athletes chasing the course record set here by Almaz Ayana last year when she ran 2.17.20 on her debut. We had a few deputants in the women's race, but we also had a number of experienced athletes, including the race favorite, Ashita Bekere from Ethiopia, who was running her 27th marathon today in Amsterdam. There's the elite athletes, men and women, as they left the famous Olympic Stadium that staged the 1928 Olympic Games, where Paavo Nurmi won one of his nine gold medals over 85 years ago. Yeah, an extraordinary, iconic uh, stadium with so many memories and so much symbolism for, for so many people, certainly natives of the Netherlands, and a lot of people delighted to be in the stadium here. And, well, the lead women in the early stages, Bekeri was in there and justifying her place as one of the pre-race uh, favourites with uh, one or two of the leading Ethiopians who came through uh, Fondle Park. So very competitive in the early stages. Well, a big feature of the women's race was the uh, pacemaking, which was done largely by male pacemakers. So as the female athletes, the elite, women went under the Rice Museum at 4.1 kilometers. It was a big group of around 25 athletes, including around 12 Ethiopian and Kenyan athletes, led by Meseret Ababayu in the red vest, and on her shoulder, Meseret Belete. Both of them had won big city marathons earlier this year, Ababayu in Riyadh and Belete in Doha. A Sefer there, one of the uh, other big names, no relation to the uh, the now world record holder, Tigist Asefa, as they went through uh, 10 kilometers. And at this stage, they were just outside course record pace, that uh, course record held by or set by Alma Zayana uh, 12 months ago. So out onto the banks of the Amstel, the Elite women passing through 15 kilometers in just outside 49 minutes. It was around this point that they dropped slightly outside of course record pace. They were still on for a very, very fast time. Around two hours and 18 minutes. And at the back of that group, Sophia Asifa struggling to find her drinks. And Lauten was uh, having a real battle with uh, her compatriot, Jill uh, Holterman, but uh, eventually broke free and along the um, banks of the Amstel ran a, a much more measured race and was still on target to get that all-important Olympic qualifying time. So the leading women going through their halfway split, 69-10, so on course for 2.18.20 and still quite a large group of them led by Ababayu with uh, Bekere in third place, Mesfin in the blue vest in fourth place. So four Ethiopians right at the front of the women's race. And this is where the rain came down and the wind picked up in a very difficult section of the race. And it was the experienced Ethiopian Bekere who was the first of the favorites to really struggle. She started to drop off at around 26 kilometers and the four, uh, well, the three Ethiopians, Ababayu, Belete and Mesfin started to get away and they were still being pursued by uh, the Kenyan Dorcas Tuituek. 
Jill Holterman, the, uh, the leading Dutch woman, started to drop off the pace and really started to feel it in this section of the race, which allowed Anne Loughton to uh, establish herself as the leading Dutch woman. There she was with some excellent pacemaking all the way. At this stage of the race, she still had plenty of other athletes for company, uh, including to her left, Ronin from uh, France, and they ran together for a good section of, of this race. So back with the leading women, and it was the three Ethiopians that gradually started to pull away from the Kenyan Tui Toek as they headed back into the city centre. But it was uh, Ababayu who was the first of the three Ethiopians to start to struggle when um, Mesodet Belete started to put her foot down. Turuye Mesvin tried to hang on to her compatriot for as long as she could, but it was Mesodet Belete in the green vest, aided by her Kenyan pacemaker, Abel Sikoyo, who started to pull away. There's Mesvin in the blue vest desperately trying to hang on to Bellate as they returned back towards the Rijksmuseum. And she went from strength to strength. Meseret Bellate, who was a late addition, a late entrant here in Amsterdam, but uh, had got all the good training and all the preparations which she hoped were going to be put to good use in, in Chicago uh, last week, but uh, eventually came good on the streets of Amsterdam and by this stage still flanked, as you can see, by her pacemaker coming in for her moment of glory. Well, Bellate said she trained incredibly hard through the rainy season in Ethiopia, through the months of July, August and September, in expectation of a place in the Chicago Marathon last weekend. Didn't get a visa to go there, but through the assistance of the race organizers who brought her in, at last minute to Amsterdam, she had an opportunity just to show how good she is and how hard she'd worked. And chasing her pacemaker, Bellate was on course for a new personal best time in here in Amsterdam, just slipping outside the course record pace of Alma Zayana, but still coming home to record her second big marathon victory of 2023 so the final 200 meters have felt really sweet for Meseret Bellate leading home what proved to be an Ethiopian 1-2 and once again all credit to the pacemakers in each of the groups who did a fine fine job really well selected and well prepared and Meseret Bellate coming home inside her previous personal best but outside the course record but a terrific victory here for Meseret Bellate backing up her victory in Doha early this year so a great victory for Bellate coached by Haji Adilo one of the top marathon coaches who also coaches the second placed Ethiopian athlete Meseret Ababayu with the Kenyan athlete Dorcas Tuitoek finishing third just inside her best time 2.20.02 and there's Bellate winning in Amsterdam in a new personal best and Loughton then became the focus of everyone's attention chasing that Olympic qualifying time and she knew she'd done it. It was a question by how much? 2.26.50, remember, and in the end she did it by around 15 seconds and another massive chunk taken off her lifetime best and their confirmation of the women's result. So a 1-2, Belate and Ababayu, Ethiopia, again on the top of the podium in the women's race with the Kenyan Tuitek in third. And right at the bottom there in 10th place, Toyton, the first Dutch athlete. Meseret Bellete winning here in Amsterdam, her second big marathon victory of 2023. And they're the first two Dutch athletes, Lauten in the women and Shukut in the men.